Legend of Total War here with part 2 of this particular disaster campaign where the main problem is sorting out the fucking budget because I mean I, st I don't know what people are going to think when they see this campaign really will they think it's too easy because there's that many settlements and that many armies but the thing is from the way I point this is actually one of the most fucked campaigns I've ever received because you cannot replace your armies. It's not simply a case, it's not like the other Total War games where you can never actually get a negative balance. The balance is so far below, <laughs> below normal, that um, unless extreme caution is taken into not See, losing your armies, which by the way, we are still losing money every turn. Um, you can't replace your troops. You know, you can't replace them. So even with a strong military, we're going to burn out eventually and have no ability to replace these troops. And that's the big problem here. Everything that we've got, that's it. You know, you've got this much to finish the entire campaign. Which is, it's, it's, it's a bit, but it's not that much. It really isn't. So, this has actually been a lot more difficult to balance the budget than I realized. And I didn't realize just how fucked he was when I when I got it. But anyway, yeah. here we are now. And we have to deal with this as best we can. Alright. Okay, I think this guy here has done me a, a big favor. If we stand here and push him aside. Yes! <laughs> I know what I'm doing in this game. But clearly other people don't. Okay, so we've got... That's easy to deal with. Prince Ubaldo. And then... Okay, not so bad. We have the dogs now! Attack! So my, my train of thought to try to ban balance the budget is to increase our income. So we need more settlements. And in doing so, we're also beating back on our enemies because, let's face it, getting a peace treaty with them is impossible because we can't afford a diplomat. I've never seen a campaign this, with someone this badly in debt. Now, originally when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, it's turned like 50, so I thought the settlements would be at least somewhat developed, and therefore the amount of money gained from sacking it would be pretty damn decent. But it has It's actually been really shitty money from sacking settlements, for the most part. Especially, you know, relatively large settlements like Edinburgh, which can only explain that, it, that it's it's been sacked many times before. You know, and owning the settlement's not particularly valuable because it's damaged. It's damaged goods. Anyway, we uh, we just have to make do the best we got. Oh man, they got wrecked there. Only half the enemy. The enemy flees the battle. Mange was sunny. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Thing is, these guys all dying right there. That doesn't really matter so much because we are likely to get them back through recovery. Okay, so. Go stand there. Sending these two guys up against him wouldn't be a very good idea. It's best if my infantry sort of deals with them. Like I said, you don't fight fire with fire. I really don't like to use general's bodyguards to kill other general's bodyguards unless I have overwhelming numbers. Now, I think this is a, like a Hobbelar unit. So, is that right? Mounted Sergeant, the same thing, really. Yeah, Mounted Sergeant, okay. Try to get in there quickly. Smash them. very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours! Yeah, avoid the spearmen, try to take out the, the general. So the only unit that I can replace are the general's bodyguards, but I don't... 
I don't know how many settlements we need to take in order for us to start getting new ones. Now, whilst they do have upkeep, they don't have actual recruitment costs. Another thing is that any missions that we do that have uh, that have troops as a reward, they absolutely should be done. The enemy general, if they please, can be done, like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. All right, we missed him. It doesn't matter though. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. Now I need to make sure I wipe this unit out because we've already let go quite a few of them. We want to take the city. It's not just enough to win the battle. We've got to take the city. The enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours! Like I said, get every last one of them. And then we might make it just in time to do some damage here. And those crossbows. General kills. Look at what they've done here. The nice. enemy is badly blocked. Lost half of his they men coming to kill them. Très bien. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the cur to hell. Our cowardly foe runs. We must push our advantage. Okay, we don't. We don't need. We already killed. Them, so we don't need to kill Entering woods and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Victoire! Oui. We All march right, there on we our go. victims, Seigneur. That's some decent Death money. That will pay for the income for the turn. Uh, pay the, what was the, the expenses. Is now yours. But we're still struggling to just stay afloat. Now, in addition to that, is you know the city is making enough money for us to, you know, uh, help pay off our debts. But we're still going to be in a negative every turn. If we don't make some more changes. Alright. Ready and able. So I think a big priority that we should try to do is try to really weaken the Holy Roman Empire and Spain. Those seem to be our two main enemies. Sibni Lawadi, infidel. There's not much I can do about that unless I go back here, which I probably will have to. Can't be losing these settlements. How much population does Rome have? Man, look how damaged this place is. Ready right, so we won this. Get the fuck out of that. Seigneur, joining into a powerful force of troops. Oui. Seigneur. Alright, where are we going to go next? Alright, you guys are free to march on Bordeaux. That should be pretty easy for them to do. I'm just wondering if maybe I should get this guy to Senior. besiege so that they sally out. Because the thing is, I do have just a lot of archers. And then over here, they've got this force here, which should be pretty easy for our cavalry to, to deal with. Okay, these guys here need to make their way towards Bern. We don't have to worry too much about rebel settlements, except for these ones here, just because it, you know, it wasn't going to transport them all the way down this way. When there's enemies out here to fight. We don't have to worry about them attacking us. That's the thing. If we can manage to balance the budget, just balance the budget, let alone, you know, pay off our debts. If the bu if the budget is balanced, then all he needs to do is hunker down and just wait for this debt to, to be repaid. Which, <laughs> if, we, if, if, I, if our balance is 1,000 a turn, it'll take him 560 turns to repay it. It's ridiculous. Um, 
But if I get it to 10,000, then it would be 50 odd turns, which is Older, still really difficult. Alright, I've decided I'm gonna put you here. By your will, senior. Senior. You come and besiege. To it is then, It'll be easier if that happens, and also we take it a turn the earlier. As planned, senior. Which means we actually get some income over it for the, for the turn. Alright, we've got Toledo over here strike? to take. Tell me you're a night fighter, that would be really helpful. Yes, he is, okay. They will regret crossing fast. Good, 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 good. What's he got anyway? Yeah, I think we're better off fighting him separately. There is no dishonor in winning, man. So do it anyway. Because, yeah, I really can't stress enough how bad that financial situation is. Like, that is so horrifically bad. Because, like, as I said, if you run out of... If you, if you just ban all of your troops, right, and just try to wait until your budget's back balanced, you'll you'll be waiting until the end of the campaign. That That's how much in debt he pushed himself in. Like, the, the debt... It's catastrophic amounts of debt. Absolutely insane. Um, okay, this is a fortress. Or is it a citadel? Let me just check. It's a fortress, right. Alright, there's an entry point over there. Let's send you two and one of you there. I'll put one of you here. Since they've only got three units, you want them to have to spread themselves too thin that they can't possibly protect the gates. Okay, so this isn't protected here. Alright, so what do we got here? This is the closest unit. Javelin men. Okay. Our king looks like he's more than 50 years old, based on his portrait. And we've got over here Cape Knights. And over here we have... I think there's some more Javelin men. Okay. Try to make sure that these guys here don't make it back to the settlement. Our men have reached the gates with a battering ram. And if you're thinking, why not disband the mercenaries? It will save you more money. Saving money at this point Our is men have pointless. Done well. It's just the too much in debt. Fallen. Scrimping's not going to do anything. We have to gain assets. And mercenaries are actually really cost effective in this. These are armored sergeants and these are good quality crossbowmen. You know, if you've got a large army, use it. Plenty of strength. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. I think his biggest problem in this campaign was that he gained a lot of settlements and didn't develop his economy at all. Like, so all these settlements ended up being shit. Didn't focus on construction or didn't focus on repairing certain key, key buildings. They don't have to repair everything. But some things are worth repairing. You know, economic buildings like, um, like town halls. You might think, town halls don't provide any money. Yes, they do. They provide law. Law is money. In a way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move it. Ah, you motherfucking bastard. You're just not fast enough. Alright, well. They didn't want to fight us here. Fair enough. So honestly, not a great start, because they've got three units in there, and they've actually got the gate and everything. Just thinking how to go about this now. I 
think the best way would be is if we could ram the gate. So I need both rams going up there simultaneously. Because they're probably going to burn down. And he should give them support. Because he can, he can tank quite a few shots. I just try to block as much of that flame shot. Because if one, one thing goes up there... It's only one tower, but it just increases our chances of getting up there. Fighting on the walls would be just be pointless. Good waste of lives. Yeah, you want to stand in front of them to try, just try as much as possible to protect those rams. Okay, so it looks like both of them are going to make it. It's good to see. The battering ram is in place. Before. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Just gonna put this over here. Keep it out of the way. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Don't let these javelin men get back. Must have a lot of dread if he can do that. The battle is the enemy general. The enemy. Bourgeois Sunny. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Sort out the javelin men, then we'll bring in the crossbows to sort out the uh, the dismounted feudal knights. Okay, you just come stand over here. Like I said, we want to keep our casualties at a minimum. We cannot replace our troops. Gotta, gotta keep conquering. The best way to get more money. Get more, get new assets. Easily pay for, for our troops. And then help us pay off our debt. It shouldn't require large garrisons to keep these places under control. Especially if we sack the cities. Wait, I turned off um, The enemy flees the battle. All of Christendom will be. That actually went a lot better than I thought the it enemy would. Will never see us here. Ah. Oh. They don't get it. You know, back. Might as well get 400 gold. Why not? Nothing can stand in our way. We have crushed the defending forces. It is ours. Okay, so basically, the way to tell. Whether or not we're actually going to balance the budget is whether this number here is higher than this number. See, this is how much money we've made from looting, and it doesn't quite cover it. So if we negate these two numbers, um, well, more like if we minus this from here, we're at minus 3,000 a turn. So we've almost balanced the budget. But even then, you know, that doesn't Wait. get us out of debt. We have to, I'm not going to necessarily get him out of debt. It's just, it will just take too long. But I gotta try and balance the budget. I mean, we're, we've already captured a load of settlements. I'm not gonna win the fucking campaign for him. And all there, all there. But I'm still we, telling we you, at this stage here, if I was to hand it back to him, he's still fucked. Because we yeah, I mean, he's got a good now. army. I haven't increased Attack. his army size at all. You know, because I can't. Um, I've got him some new settlements. It's not going to do him any good when he can't defend them. I've left bare bones garrison. What's he going to do? He needs to be able to recruit new soldiers. Can't do that without a balanced budget. It's good they're coming to us. So yeah, we really want the crossbows to try to snipe the enemy general.
just do so much damage. Like I said, you know, these are great units. I wouldn't want to disband them, especially for the early game. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Because as I said, the thing is, like, the if you compare it to the, the newer Total War games, right? smiled upon us this day. Attack while his forces are in disarray. You can never actually go into debt. You can you can make no money, right? And if you do, your your soldiers will just uh, will run away. But in this, that doesn't happen. They that only they, they only run away if you're um, on crusade, which is another thing we can't join. Would have been nice if we could have. They had a crusade on us. I don't think I'm going to catch it. Only half the enemy force remains. So if you find yourself with a in a situation where you have way too many armies, you can totally just cut costs, and you're fine. But you know you, you're never going to be five hundred thousand in debt in the newer Total War games. Well, you will in Rome One and Medieval Two. You can you can actually find yourself in this much debt. I've never seen it. I've never seen anyone get this much in debt before. But. The enemy flees the battle. Run down to his worthless peasants! See something new every day. It's kind of annoyed if he didn't kill their king. I don't know if I'd be able to catch him this turn. I mean, he didn't really do anything, but still, it would be nice to kill him. All of Christendom will be awed by our victory here. Entering woods and waiting to ambush, Seigneur. I death by my hand was always their fate. Alright, if I had to guess which would be the next richest Spanish settlement, I'd have to say, um, Leon. So that's where we're off to next. We camp here, Mohua. We don't normally trade with the enemy. Alright. Orders? So I expect we'll be taking Bordeaux. We should take... Take Marseille. And Genoa. That was those would be good. Alright. Alright, get over here. Hopefully Mor we can get a new general by winning this battle here. For your honor, Morwa. Raise the Oriflame! This battle is ours! I think what I liked most about this particular scenario is that it's, it is exactly that. I've never seen this before. So much debt. Alright, uh, now go wider. Go charging at them like a mad bull before they get a chance to really know what's going on. Don't have to worry about fatigue in this sort of situation because you're not you're not worrying about melee stats or anything like that. All you gotta do is make them break, and just once you've surrounded them, killed their general, which doesn't matter if they're exhausted. Or not, charging into the the general will probably kill him. Damn, how fucking... Yeah, it's got what happens when you don't have any goddamn generals. Sorry. Any units that break, just we just get it back after the battle. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will I be ours. See because of the trees there. So they get here and they're more or less fresh anyway. The enemy general flees like the coward is. Only half the enemy force remains. Très bien. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Now he can rest at our leisure.
our cowardly foe runs. We must push our advantage. Kind of surprised some of these knights turned this is tailed an and ran right away. Which only belongs to men of great virtue and valor. Hmm, only two of my men got captured, so I don't know. Yes, they are good. Oh. The day is ours, Seigneur. Might think a ransom More. might be worthy, considering how much we're in debt. But no, that just means we have to fight them again. And like I said, we can't replace our soldiers. More. We have to weaken we Spain. Today's march ends. We're not fighting them to try and make a profit. You know, we're not fucking kidnappers. Ready and able. Gotta win the war. I need them dead for that. All right. Uh, we didn't get any new general either, Seigneur. so that's that means we've got. Yes, yeah, so we've got 19 generals and 19 regions. So we, we generally speaking need to have more regions than generals. Um, An order. The Kaiser's finest yearn to face you in battle. We should be able to handle this situation because our guys have longer range. We march on our victims, Seigneur. There is no dishonor in winning, man. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. Okay, they're not going to cross. That's, that's what I want to check. Maybe get a little bit closer. Because sometimes the back line doesn't shoot. They're not quite in range. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. There's no scenario where they win this, this fight. Unless, unless I be stupid about it, which is not going to happen. Another reason why these guys in the early game are definitely worth hiring and why I won't just bend them. Do me a favor by standing there. The enemy there. is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. Très bien. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the cur to hell. Okay, there's not much left to do. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the cur to all hell. of Christendom will be awed by our victory. Good. 
<rire> Victoire Seigneur Oui Ok, we've almost made it to Nuremberg. Come and face the might of the Reich, coward. Right, Ready so to fight this. So this is where all of our generals are. Accept my challenge. Seigneur. So here's the thing. If we don't annihilate this force, we might be able to do a force draw out here at, at uh, Frankfurt. I'm going to account for that. Like, I've just sent three men over here to go proceed to settlement. Because if we do manage to pull this off, great. Get there a turn earlier. But how would we go about it? Do we simply not kill 85% of them? Or do we capture him? Well, it, it depends on how we go about things. Given the fact that we've got this many, this much cavalry, General's Bodyguard, we're probably going to take a lot of captives. So it would be... Glory to the King of France! Attack! Guys, hold the high ground here while we go into the extreme flanks. Get around them. Now they've got a lot of mercenary crossbows, so take that into consideration as well. Shit. Actually, hitting us from here. We do actually don't have the balance of power in our favor. I really don't like these trees in here. Obscuring my visions, vision is one of the best ways to give me a hard time. I need to be able to see what's going on, and I can't. I mean, half of the army is obscured by trees. Okay, we're actually getting some shots in, because we've got... Uh, High ground, which is good for us, I guess. These guys can get some easy kills, that's definitely good. Move our, our forces just a little bit closer here so we can continue to shoot at them because we'll get a range bonus due to the high ground. So they're firing back at us, but I feel like we can do more damage to them than they can to us, so it's okay. So far, the battle's going well. So, in a way, we've got him. We've got him in like a, a triangle situation here. So since we're winning the skirmish, let's do that, let's thin them out a little bit. Because if we just go charging in here with these guys, they do have a significant force. I'm probably not going to terrify them as much as I pr probably would normally. And also, taking a shot of crossbows to the face on the charge isn't going to help. So if we can thin them out, that will help as well. If you could shoot these mercenary Frankish knights, that might be more helpful. Uh, if you can ever see them. <laughs> so 
So yeah, we, we definitely came on top here on the skirmish, without a doubt there. Alright. I'm now going to charge my men in forward, my infantry. Good. While they're in disarray, we charge. Here we go. Looks like you guys are going to have the hard job dealing with him. So I want you to go around and try to hit that general in the rear. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah, don't worry about this, Spearman. Don't matter right now. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Looks like we're going to get that general's bodyguard. Très bien. Good, got him. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the cur to hell. Now, to do next, whether or not to rout the enemy army and let them go before we hit 85%. The enemy is badly broken. Execute them they or release them. captives. Because most of all their dangerous units are, are all gone. There's only infantry left, then dealing with them in the next battle is going to be pretty easy. Kind of want to execute the captives, so we just need to get them to rout now. Enemy flees the battle. Run down. Right on 83%. Nice. Vanquished. Let all who glorify this Good, day we can execute the captives. We are triumphant. Glory to France. Okay, I Order. think they're standing right outside the city. To battle. For your honor, mon roi. Breaking up the siege. Ready and able. Yeah, they are. Okay. So what's in here? Okay. Well. Ready to and able. As we, as we go. Glory to mon roi. We attack. This is another evenly matched battle. So that's what remains of that army. We should rush over there and get rid of them. Oh, there's another force as well. They had another one hiding over here. Wait, what? No, this is the hiding one. Ah, oh, shit.
have an idea. Let's deal with this one first. Swing back around and deal with the other one later. Thinking about just using the, the generals. Because it's not exactly amazing troops. Actually, just hang on. Let's organize this first. If I get up on higher ground over here, we should be able to shoot down at them. Thin them out a little bit. So with this army here, we completely execute them. Funny thing is though, that if we had failed in the in the other battle, we could have done the forced drought with these guys. Doesn't matter, because we succeeded in that one. Let's, let's harass their missile units while our guys get into position. Give you an order. Orders are not optional. You gotta move it. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Come on, come on. Okay, they're, they're coming for the attack now. They're out for blood. But in doing so, they've made their general vulnerable. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press Our on. men are winning the battle. Oh, if we continue capture him. like this, we will oh, smash yeah. the enemy. Sometimes they're just a little bit too slippery. Only half the enemy force remains. I just gotta make sure they don't get away. It wasn't crucial that we the did get the general, but it would have favor. helped. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Our cowardly foe runs. We must push our advantage. All right. All of Christendom will be all. So that'll make the attack a lot easier now. Oh! Seigneur, 
we have claimed this day. There we go. Much better. Ready and able. For the honor of France, we will attack. Let's just rush at these guys. They, it's just remnants. Easily get rid of them. Battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Gotta make sure we don't let more than 15% of them get away. Good. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Okay, just hold your fire for the time being. Oh, just, just whatever, don't worry about it. The enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! There we go. We let enough of them escape the previous battle to make sure that they were absolutely worthless in this battle. Good. Now we get to fight this other force for Frankfurt. And they're all more or less fresh. Okay, cool. So I believe it's two loads of spears and two loads of cavalry that we need to deal with. So we definitely need the the missile units to try to thin out the cavalry as much as possible. Because if you're just going to melee with them, they tend to rout before they you know, really hit too many casualties. Can easily run them down, so that's not a problem. Good amount of damage on those mailed knights. Now let's start doing the wraparound. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Cowardly foe runs. See, like I said, we they tend to wrap pretty early. Advantage. We're not going to catch them. Well, the crossbows thin them out good enough. And we just get rid of the, uh, the other ones and we'll be fine now. That should get us to 85%.
This is an act heroic, which only belongs to men of great virtue and vi- Bitte schön, let us go! No. Ah! Absolutely not. God be praised for this victoire. Ready and able. We Ugh, it's here. not very Move much, but, engage. you know. We've weakened the Holy Roman Empire we have by taking it. This day. A glorious conquest for France. And if that's not what we're trying to do, then I don't know what we're trying to do. So looking at it now, we've, we've almost balanced the budget. But like I said, even if it was like 1,000 profit per turn, it would take 542 turns to get out of debt. Assuming you don't sack anything else. So it, that's not good enough. Alright, so well... You can stay there. Hopefully you're the only unit that's needed to remain behind. Yeah, this, the settlement's well under control. In fact, we can leave it on normal taxes for a little bit. Ready and able, Seigneur. A little bit of a concern to come down here and besiege this, not knowing full well if, you know, these guys are going to get in the way. But that's what I'm going to do. We, we shall slaughter them. Ugh. They have nowhere to run now. Sieging. Let us I'd say to staff them out, I'm pretty we? certain they're going to attack over the end Ready turn. and able. I'll do my best there. Ah, oh, we've got Innsbruck over here to take. What have they got there? Can't tell. Let us stop waiting and take the walls, we? Okay, we can order us off this, no problem. We shall slaughter them. Death by my hand was always their fate. What was the enemy? We have is just now balanced yours. the budget. With every turn now, we no longer fall deeper into debt. It's finally balanced. Oh my god. I had to get so many settlements to, to balance the damn budget. Seigneur. But we're not done yet. It's because he's still not out of debt yet. Seigneur. Alright. Well, we have to leave behind just whatever the weakest unit is. Maintain the public order. I don't think I'll succeed there at Nuremberg, so I'm going to send backup force. Continuing and that way, if I do succeed, then I'll just send him over to Vienna over here. What are we going to do with you? Okay, here's something. We don't need this, and we don't need this. Honestly, if Rome gets you should face recaptured, it doesn't heresy. matter. It's not worth a whole lot right now. Let's take Senor. care of force. Senor. Uh, sleep behind that wall. And let's head down to Palermo. Oh, it's going to take a while to get there. No, I said I'm going to head up to Florence to try to beat them that way. Yeah, so one of these guys actually lowers public order. Wait. Huh. We camp here, Morla. And that way I guess we can save for him, maybe pick up this other unit. The problem here is that these settlements fucking damaged. Can't repair them. And it won't repair automatically over time. Alright, I think we're done now. Let me just check Senor. to see if there's oui. anybody else Ready and able. that can move. Where shall we strike? Morwa. Ready and able. Ready and able. Orders. Seigneur. Seigneur. We. Oui. Ready and able. We, oui, Seigneur. Ready. Where shall we? An order. Ready and Seigneur. Ready. Ready and able. Obviously, there's no construction we can do, but for the first time, we'll actually make a profit. It's actually, you know, more than a thousand. Just slightly more than a thousand per turn now. So, in 534 turns, if you could just maintain this status quo here, you'll be out of de debt. But that's not going to help you because that's just way too long. For France, mes amis! Give her glory! Give her victory! Units, await my order! Alright. This is the job for the cavalry. But it's an easy job, so that's good.
The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Okay, I want the lightest cavalry to be charging of those mercenary crossbowmen. Oh, they've already started reloading. So someone's probably going to get shot. Ah, oh, good, they didn't shoot. That's, that's what you get when you're on skirmish mode. Enemy flees the battle. This is an act heroic, which only I think two casualties is the acceptable. The day is ours, Seigneur. This land is yours, mon roi. Our enemy lays siege to our settlement, mon roi. No, don't kill my general. Leave it alone. Go away, you fucking papal shit. Doesn't look like he died. Some good units in there. But I'm sure we'll be fine. We have the dogs now! Attack! Not a particularly valuable settlement, this one. But we just do what we gotta do. Okay. It's on our way down to London. London's probably gonna be the most valuable. Although Edinburgh, Edinburgh was a minor city, I know it doesn't make that much cash. It's just not developed. It has low population. He may have exterminated it when he got there. Don't know. Good if the infantry could help us take out their cavalry. The English knight shouldn't be any faster than my general's bodyguard. No, 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 no. For the moment, the chance of battle goes our way. Don't care about Let's these guys. remains as such. Kearns got destroyed. That's fine, like I said, I don't care about them. The enemy general has no honor. 
he flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Main purpose of them is just to soak up damage. Mojwasani! Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Okay, now we've already killed the enemy general, so we don't really need to chase after him anymore. Now, favor. now we just finish the rest of the assault, which should be pretty Victory easy will now. be ours. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. Just make sure they don't recover. Our cowardice is an act heroic, which only belongs. Ah! <laughs> Victoire! We have crushed the defending forces. I'd say it's exterminating. That'll keep it under control for a lot longer. Because it's just, it's, it's not going to be of any use to us for a foreseeable future. Nothing here. A little bit of money. Have to leave one unit behind, of course. Just this one will do. All right. Looking at the budget, eight hundred and seventy-four a turn. Okay. Well, I thought it was a thousand, so there must have been some fluctuations and whatnot. So they didn't uh, Where go ahead with this. I didn't build any we siege equipment because I'm not. I'm not attacking that. No way in hell. Let um, us stop waiting and take the walls, we. Ready and able. I look okay, it doesn't actually seem like it's you. that strong of an army. Moving to engage the enemy. It's not. <sighs> Bloody hell, like we need more problems. Oh, here's a, here's another problem for us. <laughs> Fuck me. It's too there big. Will be much honor in defeating you, noble. An uh, order? It's probably not gonna. Despite being an infidel. It's actually moving quite fast. I don't know. Oh. Okay, it doesn't look too hard. They will regret crossing France, mon roi. These lands will soon be yours, mon roi. Let us stop waiting yeah, and take hard. the walls, we. Oui? That's a large city with a good population, so sacking that, at the very least, is going to bring us closer to getting Orders. out of debt. Oui. Is there anyone here that we could use to force mon draw out this? Mon roi. All right, let's Orders. pop you over here. As you wish. To battle, and mon you stand roi. here. Because otherwise we have no way of getting in. So we've now got 23 settlements and 19 generals. We should be able to start getting new generals soon. You know, you can't hold on to this much territory just with General's Bodyguard. You just, you just can't. And are there? Talk is cheap. Come face me. I want to get around that. Just, we're running out of troops. With no ability to reinforce. We still need to capture more regions. Seigneur. I will not waste words with the enemy. So, looking at the diplomacy side of things, we haven't wiped out any factions yet. Uh, as in, I haven't. There's so many enemies. We don't have to worry about things like the Byzantine Empire or Portugal. Well, not yet, at least. Or even the Papal States so much. Hmm. 
You've got one cardinal, but no one's going to vote for you. So forget about that. Now, I'd like to come down here and attack this. It's their capital, it's a castle. But I really don't want to deal with this guy here. Alright, leave behind just a unit of peasant archers. As you wish. Senior. And we'll make our way down the coast. By your will, Seigneur. And bring we shall camp well. here. We. we merging armies. We oui. Milan's garrison's just too big. Would be nice to take it, it's a good rich settlement, but gotta weigh up the cost versus Where shall we the strike? difficulty. Uh, cost versus reward. See, I don't know what's here. There's two units there. Three units there. We oui. ready and able. Probably would be better for us to take out the Imperial Castle to stop them from recruiting new castle units. I mean, they'd only get garbage from here. Orders. An order. But at the same time, I don't know what they've got there. I'm gonna put. Ready and able. See, if I put him here, they're probably not gonna sally out. I could just besiege it and build siege equipment, but I've only got Senor. two loads of infantry. That's probably the safest bet. We, we shall slaughter. Okay, one of them's the the emperor, they have so to run now. I probably could have actually done it, but. Let us stop waiting and take the walls. We. Two. They will regret crossing France. Ready and able. I can't get back here in time. Oh, I can actually. I can get there in time to stop it. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. All right. Ready, ready, and able. We oui. splitting off and spreading out. Moving to engage the enemy. And the big thing about this is that our generals have don't get the the buff from this guy here. They should still not rout, but we have to be mindful of it. Prepare to bring glory to France! To arms, mes amis! My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against. Here we got plenty of time. Oh, hang on. We came around the other side. That's where we are. Ideally, we should try to kill him early, as early as possible. But these are javelin calves, so we have to we have to come at him from multiple angles. Otherwise, he may skirmish mode us. Once we've taken him out, the rest of these should be pretty easy. But if at any point our generals break, we've made a huge mistake. So we have to be very careful. him out over here. Let's see, who's he targeting? Polish nobles, get him out of there, get him out. Oh, 
Luckily, these are just regular crossbow militia, so they don't have long-range missiles. God, I would have I would have actually preferred a, a heavier knight unit to be here. Okay, hang on, this this might work. If we can cut him off. Cut him off, cut him off. Okay, the rest of us dog pile on him. Gotta kill the enemy general. Morale seems good. Even just getting him off the battlefield would be good. Grâce à Dieu, our men have slain the enemy general. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Right. Now, just take a step back. We need to charge into them. It's certainly good that this unit here is broken. Don't worry about those other Polish nobles. They're too few to worry about. Since their army is garbage, Hopefully we can get a mass route now. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Get out of there. Help us run these guys down. It's not good enough just to win the battle. We've got to wipe them out. I don't want these guys coming back. I don't think Poland's that strong, so it probably took them a long time to uh, build up this army. We're not really going for them right now, so we want them to not come back for a good long while. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. here and go for it. one last charge should do it our men are winning the battle if we continue like this we will smash the enemy retreat! they're retreating but they're almost at 85 percent we get them above 85 percent it doesn't matter if they get away The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. This is an act heroic, which only cool. belongs to men of. I don't think any of my generals died either. No, no ransom. Just, we don't want them to come back. The day is ours. Ready and able. Morwa. Come and face the might of the Reich, coward! Right. Stand over here, the, the generals will meet you up, meet up with you later. Okay, now over here, we need to... How am I going to do this? Alright, I'm going to put you here. No, you here. Breaking away from the other army. And you here. By your will, Seigneur. Alright. Where shall we strike? We... We shall slaughter them. Nothing can stand in our way. We march on our victims, Seigneur. Capturing Nuremberg should should really help with the finances as well. I don't think I need to do a uh, a third episode. Like we should have more territory now than ever before, and I've balanced the budget. Just not got him out of debt, but you know that's that's a that's a big ask to get get them out of debt. There's no guarantee they're not going to start up on the high ground. Yeah, there they are.
So I let them charge into here. Doesn't really matter too much if they do, but. Because we just surround them anyway. Got him. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, now we just gotta get rid of that other one. The enemy flees the battle. This is an act heroic. No! So let's have a little look at the Victoire! our faction rating. So overall, he's still been stronger in the past, but obviously the financial stuff will take into consideration. Let's compare ourselves with the the Holy Roman Empire. So they're now considered weaker than us. Militarily, huge drop. Obviously, I can't do anything about our drop. Can't replace any troops. Production-wise, I don't know what we're fucking producing. Territorially, we're bigger than ever. But financially, you know, there's, there's just nothing we can do about that. It seemed to me that he was, he was like, saving up a lot of cash at one point. Just, like, not spending his money every turn. And then you got into the trap where you uh, had too many troops and then, boom, debt. And our population's bigger than ever, even though we've been sacking and exterminating. Okay. Wait. Oh, so Vienna just to on the horizon Ready there. Can we get someone... Seigneur. Seigneur. No, can't get there. Oui. And this settlement over here is at 65. There's nothing I could do about it. It's like, what, what on earth could I do? Ready, send a governor over there to, to maintain public order, maybe, but I can't build anything. I can't recruit anything. What am I supposed to do? All right, so over here in York. God damn, the, the rebel garrisons here are really strong. Orders, oui. Try and ignore him. He's just gonna sit there. Forming into a more powerful force. Where shall we strike? We say ready, ready, and able. Seigneur. Okay, I don't know what's gonna be there, but I'm just oui. gonna send the cavalry. Because the infantry can't catch up. Leaving the army, Seigneur. Oui. We maybe they'll sell out. Maybe they won't. Orders. Seigneur. You come stand over here just for time being. Want enough of a gap to make sure that they don't take these guys into consideration. Even though they wouldn't show up from there, they will, they will take it into consideration. Where shall we strike? Alright, I think I've done everything that I can for the turn. Let's just go through the list. Where shall we? Ready, ready, and able. An order, senior. Ready, ready, and able. Order, senior. Order, senior. An order, ready, and able. Where shall we strike? Guy, yeah. Oui. Name the field of battle. We will Again, meet you this there. army here will just weaken us so much. So I'll just stand ah. there and we'll just try to go past it that way. Seigneur. Ready and able. Ready and Seigneur. We oui, Seigneur. Ready and able. We. Oui. An order. Seigneur. Ready and order. Ready and able. Orders. Seigneur. Orders. Seigneur. Alright. So budget wise. We'll make a thousand this turn. But, if all goes well, we'll get Marseille. Nuremberg. Won't be getting that one. And Nottingham. See how we go with that. Moving on. We have the dogs now. Attack! To herself, who lets themselves get like half a million in debt before they turn it around? And then I remember America. 
and my country the as well, but we're idiots. We're, we're just as big of idiots. From such tidings does victory emerge. Yeah, you know what? Let's spend beyond our means. That's a great idea. Triple our nation's <laughs> income for generations to come. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. I'll sign off on that. Okay, need your front now. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, that's a good start. We've still got enemy generals to deal with. It's kind of cool. I, I like this strategy. I know some people be like, eh, it's exploit. But, you know, if you think about it, it's like hiding your units, the main bulk of your forces in the forest. These guys come out to get you and be like, surprise, motherfucker. Men are winning the, the enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. But the thing is that the AI falls for it like time and time again. So of course it is a bit exploitative. Whatever, I don't care. Très bien! The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the cur to hell! It's not very political, correct? Did you call it the the bad place? Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. So I think it's just that mountain. Actually, I don't know what unit hasn't routed yet, but I'll just capture them in the meantime. Yeah, it's a mountain. It's the enemy fleet. This is an act heroic. We Hopefully this is worth at least 10,000. Come on, give us some good Death cash for this. By my hand was always their fate. Well, half is what I was expecting, Victoire. but These people serve us now, mighty seigneur. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping they'd stay there. Men, fall in behind the Ori flame! To up! Units! Double time! This one shouldn't be a problem at all. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. The enemy general flees like the car men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy flees. All of Christendom will be entering woods. And the day is ours, Seigneur. This land is yours, mon roi. If I could just get him under half a million in debt, I'd be like, I think that's pretty good. Seigneur, we are besieged. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, this is at seventy percent. It won't riot this turn. Again, there's there's nothing I can do about it save send more units to, to garrison it, and that's just not acceptable. We just don't have we don't have the troops to spare.
Alright, so at this rate here, it's only going to take 250 turns to, to get you out of debt. Okay, so we didn't get Nottingham, so that sucked, but... Oh well. It's good that we got this. We've got no means to, to get down here. Blockade that port, Stettin. Actually, we can blockade it without... Ready and ready we just had to have to put someone there. How long... How much was it for? It's only for a thousand florins. It's like, it's not even worth my fucking time oh, to get there. The only thing it would be worth it for is to, to re-roll for another mission, so that we could probably get some troops out of it. Maybe. Alright. Where shall we strike? Ready and able. Boulders. Morwa. We march Nothing. on our victims, Whatever. Seigneur. These lands will soon be yours, mon roi. Let us stop waiting and take the walls, we? Oui? Where shall we strike? There's only one unit there now. We, oui, we shall slaughter uh, them. We can't order resolve this, gotta fight it manually. Let's do it. Once we close, slaughter them all. I'll put you around the other side. Alright, your job, open the gate. Gotta get this guy off the wall so that you can come on the wall and shoot the crap out of him. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders! Fuck, come on, make a run for it, make a run for it, quick. Get over here, guys. What are they doing? Okay, get off the walls there. Because they're coming back. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us. All right, I now. think we have secure the walls now. That's good. Okay, they've they've just gone. Yeah, that's fine. I've got to set sit here. Hmm, there's a tower there though. It's it might shoot at us. It might not. Okay, you get up on the wall here and you stand back. Because when we start shooting at him, he's going to come out. So you should probably stand over here so you don't get shot by those towers. Okay, the angle from here should be pretty decent. Let's go. Good, getting kills. Don't know if we'll kill every last one of them, but this is going well so far. Kill enough of them so that there's no way they'll come up here. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. Okay, stop for a moment. We want him to go back to the town square. Cool, cool, cool. Shoot him. The enemy king lies dead, slain by our gallant warriors. Attack while his men mourn their loss. Now there's definitely no way this, this guy's gonna come up over here and annoy us.
all of Christendom will be awed by nice. our victory here. I didn't think I'd get through that with zero casualties. Ah! But I did. <laughs> Victoire! We have crushed the defending forces. It is ours! Nice. Uh, it certainly did help, but... God damn it. We are stretched so fucking thin right now. Orders? Oh, jeez, we can't make it here. Morwa. Okay, with that. Alright, we'll send a scout Orders. to go have a look. To battle it is then, Morwa. Laying siege, Morwa. Seigneur. Morwa. Fucking Jeanette's are gonna be a big problem there. Seigneur. Orders. See if they sally out. If they don't, in all honesty, assaulting that's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. So I don't really know what to do about that. Seigneur, they will regret crossing France. Let's go. We We're at an hour and a half, but I really don't want to do a third episode. So to keep going a bit longer. But the thing is, I might just have to because if I hand it back to him, I don't, I don't think he can deal with this. It's still really tough. Like you just, I gotta get him out of debt. Once he's out of debt, it's like GG, you win. But that's a really hard thing to get him out of debt right now because it's got, it's got no means by which to replace any soldiers. You can't just leave no garrison in any of your settlements, so we have to keep recruit. We have to leave behind a unit every time we capture a settlement. We can't not, or else it just revolts. We can't just keep sacking it over and over again. We just wear ourselves out. And also, the ga the the rebel garrisons the tend to be pretty strong. Place. It will not be long before our enemies' defenses fall. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. The whole point of what we're trying to do here is just gain more and more assets, not not rely on sacking income to to just get it out of debt. We have I think I'm going to have to do another episode because if I hand it back to him, there's no way in hell that you're going to be able to do it. No way in fucking hell. Even most of you guys probably, you know, you probably look at this and be like, oh, what are you doing? You've won. You've got like 25 settlements. If I hand it to you guys, I almost get, like, except for the, the very best of you, you just, you don't understand how bad it is to not be able to recruit. Like, no mercenaries, nothing. You can't construct, no, nothing. You know, what, what the fuck are you going to do? These armies are worn really thin. I'm sure I can get the odd general's bodyguard every now and again, but that, I can't protect against the 20 odd races, that, uh, nations that we're up against. So what are these, crossbow militia? Try and get to that unit over there. If I drop these equipment here, he might just get off the wall. This settlement here might actually be really good to sack. Could get upwards of 15,000, but I'm not sure. Cops a fucking shot in the face, but we survive. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders! Yeah, we gotta get these guys off the wall somehow. Oh, there we go. They do it for us. I 
think our uh, uh, king here has got a lot of drugs. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. Don't let them get back. Oh, you fucking shit, come on. Get ahead of them. Our so men are winning capture. the battle. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. Okay, good. Open up the front gate, and to ensure that we don't take any additional casualties, we'll just use these guys to to get the timeout victory on it. Because we gotta I can't afford to lose any men. shouldn't come charging at us, but that's not to say that he definitely won't. It is possible he will. Seigneur! Our men are in command of the city! Because there's no two ways about it. If we engage with him, we will take casualties. Think of it this way, he's just surrendering. Of course we execute him after the battle anyway. All of Christendom will be all We essentially took zero casualties because Sister General's bodyguard that took damage. Oh, death by my hand Ooh, even more than I thought. Fate. Oh, I got him under half a million. Yes. Now, Alright. Master Thieves Guild. Oh, hang on. We don't need the Ballista Maker. Get rid of that. So Portugal's over here. Despite Let's just see what he's got there. I respect moving to engage the enemy. This looks like a jihad army. He's got 27 settlements. He's making about 5,000 a turn now. I mean, that's still a hundred turns to get out of debt. That's such a long time. And, you know, he's going to be losing this settlement over the end turn. There's nothing I can do to stop that. And defeating that army is just out of the question. This, this army here is not big enough. I will offer the infidels a fair fight. What am I thinking? It's still a disaster, even, even with all these territories. It's just this debt here. Without it, pff, easy. No problem without the debt. But that's 495,000 gold in debt. And whilst we've balanced the budget, you know, even if you sat there for 100 turns, you're gonna lose territory. So you've gotta have someone who's able to fight with low resources. Because that's what. Offer that's what a treaty or be gone. The case. We're gonna have to do another episode. I have to, because this is so bad. I reckon I can get it down another 100,000 in the next episode and get his budget probably making 10,000 a turn. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's, um, let's end it here, and I'll do one more. I refuse to do any more than three episodes for any disaster. Anyway, this is the end of this one, so like and subscribe. Part three of this is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook, Twitter, and all that shit. See you next time, fuckers.